Good evening. Hello, Alma. I could I, I saw your your message. Okay, in the chat. Don't worry. I hope that you uh, come back home and that you can get connected uh, by using uh, I mean a different device. I think it's better with a laptop. Okay. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Wilson. Hello, Kenya. Hello, Jorge. Long time no see, people. Okay, Jorge. Irving, hello. Hi, Irving. Good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Let's wait a little bit for the rest, okay? I only have six people connected. I need, I mean, the majority of the, the people in the class, okay, in order to start. Uh, do the favor to activate your camera. Remember that's important. Okay. Uh, Jorge David is, hello Jorge. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you tonight? <laughs> hey, good evening, Jorge. Good evening. I can see you're having a great time with your son. Is a baby your son? My, my daughter. My daughter. Oh, she, it's, it's, a, it's a lady. It's yeah. a daughter. <laughs> That's daughter. perfect. How lucky are you, Jorge? Hello, Julio. Uh, five months. Ah, the, the baby is five. Five months. Five months. Five, five months. Okay. Okay, people, do the favor to activate your camera. Remember it. Uh, it's important uh, to see you. I I can see Irving is a little bit um sleepy. Are you sleepy, Irving? You seem to be a little bit tired today. I don't you don't listen that well. Okay, I have a uh, eleven people, ten people connected. Some people are chatting, and Alma says good evening. Ah, okay, okay, um, Alma, I will take it into consideration. Thanks, okay. teacher. All right, I have Diana, Diana Gabriela. Hello, Diana. Norma Beatriz, hello. I can see Norma here. Okay, now we're going to start. I hope you have had a great um, weekend and and that you could uh, work in, the, in your uh, homework assignment, right? I remember that you had a homework. Is that right, people? Is that right? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> no, you don't remember that you were in church of talking about uh, different places in, in the world. I mean, talking about neighborhood. Okay, uh, let, let, us start by let us start talking about the Humboldt assignment. I need, well, you know, in order to take advantage of time, I will ask only, I will ask only to three people. Three, I need three people to participate in sharing the information you got about a neighborhood. Only three people, that's it. I need three volunteers, only three. Okay, the first one, I mean vol volunteers, people. Information you got about neighborhood. I don't know if you talked about Las Vegas, if you're gonna talk about LA, New Orleans or uh, Miami, I don't know. You tell me about the information you got. Kenya? Mm, teacher, sí. Yo hice la tarea, pero quería saber si la puedo leer. 
Okay, it's all right. Okay, try. But listen, it's better when you when you get the information into your mind, right? But it, in this time, will be all right, Kenny. Read the info, please. Comienzo ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, New York. New York is not the capital city of the United States of, of America. New York is the heir of the world. Some people call New York the golden apple in the world. It is a very huge an enormous city. It is like a big and terrible monster. It is beautiful and ugly at the same time. There are many beautiful buildings and hay scrapers. There, there are also dangerous streets, ave, avenues, um, Alice, uh, money flows, deal is on the air. The traffic is terrible. Long lines of cars or automobiles uh, roaring and blowing their own. The, the climate, climate is like hell. Uh, too much hot, hot in the summer time. Too much freezing in winter. Climate kills. The streets are always crowded. There are millions of people walking in a hurry and crossing the streets. But New York is beautiful. New York is wonderful. Come to New York. If you are. Fantastic. Great information, Kenya. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Don't remember the word climate. Climate, okay? Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> climate. Quería decir clima, clima. Yeah, that's right. It's about uh, weather, right? Weather or climate. climate. Yeah. Okay, very good. I, I wonder if there's another volunteer who wants to participate in, in sharing the information you got about a neighborhood or a, a city. Second Maybe. volunteer. Oh, Gloria. I... Yeah, you can participate, Gloria. Go ahead. Okay. Um, sorry, I I read because I'm very sick. Okay, go ahead. Read. Okay. Uh, it's the Golden Gate Bridge is a iconic structure connecting the city of San Francisco to Marine Country, California. It has spanned almost two million miles across the Golden Gate. The narrow strait where San Francisco Bay opens to meet the Pacific Ocean. The dream of connecting San Francisco to its northern neighborhood became a really when construction com, com, no sé, no sé cómo se pronuncia, eh, comenzado. The gun. Okay, in um, 1933, it's correct, the Nin year? 1933. 33, okay. Uh, given the chance for steady employment, am I the Great Depression? Construction crew brave treacherous conditions as as the roadway and towers too took shape over open weather. The Golden Gate Bridge opened to the public in 1937, has endured as a picture perfect landmark and an engineering marvel. All right, fantastic. That was it, uh, Gloria? Sí, that's it. Wow. Really nice info. Uh, I really like the way you um, read the info because I could notice that you were practicing pronunciation. Okay, really good. Okay, is there a, another person who wants to share the information? 
Is there another one? Is there another volunteer? Uh, give me one second. I can see there are, okay, Alma wants, Diana wants, and Susana also wants to participate. Okay, Diana, you start. Okay, teacher. Um, the Central Park has over 34 acres for charming green space in the heart of Manhattan. This urban park in the New York City located between the, the Upper East side and the Upper West side. It's home the forest of meadows, lakes, monuments, and interesting architecture. At any time, you will find plenty of attractions and even succulents in the park. The better cycle is the for the perfect means of getting around this immense park. Pedal on your own by riding a bike or racing bike tours around the park. I finished, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Hey, very thank good. You, hey, we're going to start with the class. Let me see. I don't know, maybe there is one, there is another person who wants to share info. Otherwise, we are going to start with the class, okay? Now, I congratulate you, you for doing your best effort. I mean, when uh, doing homework assignments, they'll try to take advantage of the activity. Alma wants to participate. Okay, Alma, go ahead. I talk about El Tunco Beach. This beach is known for a famous rock shape as a pig that you'll find on the seashore and that for years has seen generations of surfers pass by who have grown and practiced surfing in this territory. You can say that everyone that has practiced surfing in the country has visited this emblematic beach. It's uh, has it has volcanic sand and the drain of Rio Grande, known as La Bocana del Tunco. If you are surf lover, this beach is ideal for it, as it characterize, characterizes for having high swells. How to get here? If you're traveling by car, you must take the highway to the Port in La Libertad and then take the highway to the littoral going west until you find 42 and five kilometers from where you can see the entry side to El Tunco. If you are traveling in public transportation, you can take the 102 or 177 routes. The tickets cost $150. The trip is an hour. Approximately, the bus leave every time's minutes. Wow, a lot of info about that place. Congrats. Okay, people, excellent job. I really like that. Now, imagine the all the all the vocabulary you could get from a single homework assignment, right? Now, um, well. I will I will start with the class. Okay, I hope that you are ready. Uh, I wonder if you could see the video I shared in uh, through WhatsApp. If you couldn't remember, you're gonna uh, have the time to see the video. Okay, and and have like the some pass, review. The simple pass. Yeah, it's gonna be about simple pass, Jorge. Okay, so are you ready to start with it? Yes, I am. Okay. Ready. Let us go over it, okay? Now, let me see, I, I, I will start sharing the info. Okay, and now, now, let me know if you're able to see, if you don't have any problem with the, with the information. I'm, I'm I'm displaying now. What is the lesson objective for tonight? Who wants to read the lesson objective? 
Someone, please help me to read the lesson objective. Uh, I can read. Me? Please. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Mm. By, by the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Okay, people hate to do. You know, we um, have a lot of activities during the day and some activities don't like. We don't like so to do some activities, but we love to do some other activities. So that's why we're going to go over this vocabulary okay now like for example in this video you're gonna see like the top eight things people have to do okay i think this is very general info but let us see what's going on what's what's the information I, this guy will provide i hate to do get out in the morning <laughs> uh, what what do you hate to do get out in the morning you hate getting up in the morning why, George? It's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm what sorry. about what about taking a shower in the very early morning, at four in the morning? Yeah, four I, in the I, morning. Yes, I said. I think hey. that would be kind of kind of difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Some people have to do so, you know. Maybe. Some people have to get up at four a.m. and take Maybe a shower. Ever at 4 a.m. so you know how difficult that would be for for if everybody uh, had to do so but we have some some activities this guy is going to present some activities people hate to do now think about an activity that you hate to do and then we will discuss okay let us see people hi everyone in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Wow, I really hate that. Two, do laundry. I don't like it, but Three, I don't hate it. Travel to work. I love it. I would love to Four, travel to work. Go to meetings. Five. It all depends. Exercise. Exercising. Six. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Seven. Clean the house. Clean the house. Eight. Open the mail. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. Okay, now listen, according to the activity, you have to create like uh, two sentences in which you, you have to say, about your in charge of saying, I have to do the laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Okay, so you have a positive activity, a, a positive a statement and a negative statement. I have to, I don't have to. And that's what we are going to do in, in the following minutes, okay? Now, I hope that you already thought about, about it. Okay, now I need some volunteers, okay, to tell me about activities you have to do, activities you don't have to do, okay? In a very quick way. Alma, could you share us your info? The only thing you have to do is to say, I have to do the laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. I hate to clean the house, for example. Okay, so you have to create two statements, two statements only. Okay. Now, who wants to participate? Let me see if I have volunteers. I don't have any volunteer. What's going on tonight? Okay, whenever you get the two statements, let me know it, please. And Maybe say. I have no two. Okay, Jose Luis, go ahead, buddy. I hate 84 alone, and I hate eight, and I hate love alone 
You hate to have no. dinner alone, for example. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. You hate to eat alone. No, uh, no. Uh, I hate eat food alone. Yeah, that's right. You hate to eat food alone. Yes. Very good. Now, tell me something else, uh, Jose, because you have to create two statements. What, teacher? You, you need to provide two statements, two sentences. I hate, uh, uh, okay. Uh, I hate, hate, hate food alone. Uh -huh. You hate to eat, eat food alone. Uh -huh. okay. Only that, Jose Luis? Yes. Okay, it's all right, don't worry. I don't know. Is there any, anybody else who wants to provide sentences? Remember the structure. I have two. I don't have two. That's what we are practicing now, right? I have two. I don't have two. Hey, I have to do the homework. But I love it. But in your case, if you don't like to do the homework, then you say, I have to do the homework. I hate it. For example, right? Or I have to, I have to travel, and I hate it. Okay. I get it. Okay, tell me, please. Who's ready? Wait. Who's ready, people? I hear somebody there. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Okay, we we'll start one by one. Ah, okay, Kenya, go ahead, Kenya. Okay, uh, I have to do wash the dishes. I hate it. Ow. Uh, I have a one. The first, uh, okay, but Kenya, I I have to do the dishes. Ah. Oh. Uh huh. And I hate it. Okay. Uh, uh, all I... right. Seria, I have to wash the dishes. Yeah. Um, I hate it. I hate it. Very good. Now, what's the second one? Uh, the second you... is I don't have to, to do laundry. You don't have to do the laundry. Somebody else does it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, I need a, another person. I need another person to participate. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. I had to do the travel the work. I had it. I don't have to do exercise. Oh, okay. You have to travel to work. To, I had to do travel to work. Uh, okay, so Jorge, in this case will be I have to travel to work. I had to travel to do travel to work. Uh, forget about do. I have to travel to work. I had to travel to work. Okay, I hate it. I hate it. Now, what is the other one, Jorge? I hate it. Yeah, that's right. And, and the second, the second sentence. I don't. I don't have to do exercise. Uh, you don't have to exercise. You don't have to exercise. Okay, very good. Fantastic. Now, so you Thanks. see, little by little, uh, I mean, little by little, we are just creating some statements in English. And that's fantastic, right? And now let's see. Now that we got familiarized with some vocabulary, okay, we're going to try to move on. Okay, this is the third week, okay? And... You know, over here is where we're gonna we're gonna start talking about simple past, okay? Because you know we're in church of creating negative statements, positive and negative statements in simple past by using regular verbs, uh, regular verbs. We're gonna practice a conversation also, and uh, I mean, 
uh, we are going to work a lot because you know simple pass is is it's an easy topic, but uh, we have a lot of information to to work on. Okay, now first we're gonna see what's going on with the um, simple uh, past statements with regular verbs. Okay, simple past statements with regular verbs. That's that's the structure we're going to be studying tonight. Okay, now let us see what's going on, people. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right, now, before getting to the grammar structure, uh, well, let us try to identify what's going on with simple past. Now, uh, you saw a video, right, about simple past. So that means that, that you have an idea about this topic, okay? So where can we find simple past statements? Sentences in simple past, people. Do, do, do I had you have? a busy weekend. Oh, listen, this is a first, right? Hey, do you have a good have weekend? weekend? That is the first. Very good. There was somebody else participating. I had, somebody said I had, right? I, I have. Yeah, that's right. I had, simple pass, a busy weekend. Now, and... And I exercise. I exercise. Very good. Morning. I exercised in the morning. I then feel a little tired. I, I, I cleaned. I cleaned. cleaned. Very good. The laundry. And what about this one? Shopped. Shopped. Did, did laundry. I visited. I visited. Did you laundry? Did laundry. Uh, did laundry, that's right. I did the laundry, right? I studied. I studied. I studied. I What did you do? What did you do? I studied, all right? I studied for the test all day. You swapped it? I didn't study. I didn't study. I just I watched I just television all weekend. Fantastic. Wow. So you see, this is simple past tense, right? So we have verbs that are regular and verbs that are irregular. So what are the verbs that are regular, people? Regular verbs that you see there. Regular verbs. Study. All right, so simple past form for study. Study. Now tell me tell me another one, please. Have, I have one. Now let us clarify something about this is simple past, yes or no? <laughs> yes, it is, right? So but listen carefully. We have two types of verbs in English. We have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. Okay, now all the regular verbs in have in ed. All right. Study is the first one. Tell me another one. Exercise. 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 All right. Clean. Watch. Is, uh, let me see, clean. Uh, shop, right? Shop. 
shopped. Tell me another one. Visited. Visited. All right. What? Visited. Watched. Is this one? Yeah. And that's it, right? So all of them are regular verbs. Regular. Now, what do you see? An ED at the end, right? Watch, watched. Visit, visited. Shop, shopped. Clean, cleaned. Exercise, exercised. Study, studied. Okay, so these are regular verbs. We also have irregular verbs, okay? Like the one you mentioned, have, had. Okay, have is the present and had is the past. Okay, so this is not regular. This is irregular verb. Okay, now let us move on to, to the next part. Okay, let me see. I, I will only, I will check pronunciation only and then I will continue. Okay, Irving, you are going to play the role for Michael and uh, let me see. I need, a, I need a girl. I need a lady to participate. Um, and it is do me the favor to play the role for Jennifer. Okay, teacher. All right, so let us start, people. I will check. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Oops. Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean the laundry and shopped, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. Still, I watch uh, television all weekend. I watch television all weekend. All right. Hey, did you have a good? Did you have a good weekend? Now, how do you answer to that question, people? Hey, did you have a good weekend? Weekend. Yeah. Did you have a good weekend? Then you can say yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay. Now, do you have a good weekend? Uh, Cesar? Cesar, do you have a good weekend? You know, we have seven days in the week, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, from Monday through Friday, those are Greek days. But Saturday and Sunday, uh, we're talking about weekend. Now, did you have a good weekend? A good weekend or a bad weekend? So if you bad. say a bad one, don't tell me so. Yes, I, sir, I have a bad weekend. You had a bad weekend. Okay, so they say, do you have a good weekend? They say, yes, I did or no, I did. Okay, so let's try with it as quickly as possible. Uh, let me see. I will try with with the majority of you. Uh, Alma, do you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. My so, weekend was great. Your weekend was great. Okay, so remember, if somebody asks you uh, uh, the question, do you have a good weekend? Then you say, yes, I did. My weekend was great. Now, let's try once again. Alma, do you have a good weekend, Alma? Yes. Yes, I did. My weekend was great. Fantastic. Carlos, did you have a good weekend? Yes, yeah, teacher. So they say, yes, I, I did. A... Yes, I did. So you can you can you can add something else, right? You say, yes, I did. It was that my weekend was great. Or it was, my weekend was fantastic, or uh, something else you want to add, okay? Diana Gabriela, how was your week? I mean, did you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. I had a weekend very nice. Yes, I did. I I had a very nice I, sorry, weekend. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, me confundí. Then they say, do you have a good weekend? Then you say, yes, I did. 
I had a great yes, I weekend. I had a great weekend. All right, very good. Gloria, do you have Thank a good you. weekend? Yes, I have a good weekend. Yes, I did. I had a good weekend. Let me see. Jose Luis, do you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. So-so. Uh, but a uh, good weekend. Yes, I did. Well, uh, I had a good weekend, okay? Okay. You, you, don't, you don't seem to be that convinced about about your weekend, but it's all right. Okay, people, let us move on to another part. Okay, now uh, the, the guy uh, that's presenting the information is going to provide uh, the grammar structure about simple past tense. So let us pay attention, please. Let us pay attention. Television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study, studied, S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay, stayed, S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop, shopped, S-H-O-P-P-E-D. All right. Now, let me see, I think... Let's analyze the example. Let's analyze it, now. please. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ED. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ED. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Positive Let's statements. analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in now, the past. Now, with negative, this in order is important. To make negative statements in the past. This is important because we are going to include the auxiliary did, okay? Did is used to create negative statements and also interrogative statements. Like a, let's take a look at it. We can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present 
plus complement. Did you notice about the information the person provided about the verb form? When we use the auxiliary did, the verb remains in the base form, okay? As if we were uh, using the verb in present. So take a look at it and pay special attention to this. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements. Let's analyze you I'm didn't so sorry, watch people. a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart, a movie. All right, now I will stop uh, the video. I will post the video now because I need to uh, highlight something over here. Now, as, as you as you can see, when having negative statements, we have uh, the, the didn't, the auxiliary uh, per didn't, and the ver the main verb is in the in the present. Okay, so if we there are some people who tend to add ed in negative statements, but that is incorrect, okay? Negative, uh-uh, we don't do so, okay? We need to have the verb in, as in present. Now, uh, I don't know if there is, if there is, a, if there is any question about these statements. Any questions about it? Not really? Teacher, Tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Um, if I... Uh, if I question... Este, ahí, ¿cómo sería para preguntar? ¿No va a cambiar el verbo? Okay, now if we want if we want to create uh, questions, let me see. Look at the chat, please. You can see the chat. If we want to create questions, for example, I didn't study yesterday. I didn't study yesterday. That's negative, right? I didn't study yesterday. Now, what would be the question form? In the question form will be, did you study? Now the verb remains in the, in the base form. Okay. Is that right? En el chat, aquí de Zoom lo compartió, no, yo no lo puedo ver. No aparece. No, 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 give me one second. I didn't, I didn't study, right? I didn't study. That's negative, period, right? But if I wanna uh, create a, a question with it, then, then I will say, did, you study so the verb still remains in the base form okay 
But why? It's because we are using the auxiliary did. Okay. Whenever we use the auxiliary did, the verb is going to be in the in the in the present form. All okay. right. So it, and, and, and there are and there are two ways to answer this question, right? It is a yes no question. So you say yes, I did. Period or no. I didn't. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. So that's the way to answer. I think uh, later we're gonna go over it in detail, okay? But thanks for asking. Now we'll move on because you know the time is is running. And now we have a clearer idea about uh, the way to use simple uh, past tense. Now we're going to try to finish with this exercise as quickly as possible. Then I, I will I will check the list attendance. On Friday night, I wait for a phone call. What is the platform for wait? Uh, wait it. Wait it. Wait, wait it. All right. Very good, Edith. But my girlfriend no call. No call. Didn't, what? didn't call. Didn't call. Didn't call it. Didn't call. call. Like this? No. 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 Only no. call. No. Uh, oh, only call. Only call. No. Okay. It's, didn't call. It's alright. It's alright. I just stay home and watch TV. What? 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 Watch. 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 On Saturday, I visit my friend Frank. Visit. It. Visit. It. Visit. It. All right. That's fantastic. We talked and listened to music. Listen. Listen. It. Listen. Listen to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cook a great meal. Uh, cooked. 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 Very good. I not work very hard on Sunday. I didn't, I didn't work, work. Didn't very work. Hard on Sunday. I didn't work. Very good. Only work. No worker, no. Only work. No, only work. No, only work. Uh, oh, okay, forget about it. Because we're mind. using auxiliary, right? Present. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. You know, I was committing a mistake. I no study at all. I don't. I didn't. I didn't study. I didn't. I don't. I didn't. No, uh, no. Okay. Didn't. Didn't. Okay. Didn't I didn't. Study. 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 Oh. Study. Oh. Study. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Only study. No, no, Only no. study. Oh, okay. Study. I'm, study. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my fault. It was my mistake. I'm sorry. I just walked to the mall and shop. Shop it. Shop it. Shop it. Two P. Double P, right? Double yeah. P. Very good. Now we will see the answers. We, we will have some review, okay, because it's quite important to notice about, about it, about pronunciation also. Hey, wait, waited. Very good, waited. Didn't call, didn't call. Ah, uh, uh, there is a different way, right? So if you don't want to use, I mean, the, um, the auxiliary in a contracted and form. Yeah, so you yeah. have it in a contracted form. And if you don't want to use it that way, then you can uh, write down did and then not. Watched, very good. Visited, very good. Listened, very good. Cooked, all right. I didn't, didn't work. work. Or did not or work. did not work. Didn't study or did not or study, study. shopped or shopped. 
All right. Hey, great job. Great job. Now, uh, something that you need to be aware of is that we have three different pronunciations. For example, you say, what is the path form for weight? Wait. Where, how do you pronounce the, the, this very in, in simple path form? Wait. 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 Now, mm -hmm. just keep it in mind because later we're going to see the, 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 I mean, a real, a, 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 um, a wider explanation about the way to pronounce verbs in the simple past form. I mean, regular verbs. And now, what about if, how do you pronounce this verb? This, this. Cold. 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 Uh, it's Cold. different, Cold. right? It is different because over here you say waited. Now here you say cold. Different pronunciation. Visit uh, once again. Listen. Uh, what about this pronunciation? How the... Cut. Cut. Very good. Now this sounds, uh, this uh, ending sound is like a T. Cooked. Good. Uh, the same happened with this one. Shopped. Shopped. Okay, so later we're going to go over it in detail. Now, I will stop uh, sharing and I will check the list of things. That's all right. Now, hey, do you have a homework for tomorrow? The homework is. You no, know, homework. Huh? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. nothing. You hate homework. <laughs> what did you do last weekend? So tomorrow you are going to tell us about it. What did you do? Did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Now, did, oh, give me one second. What did you do? last weekend and the question so you so tomorrow you're gonna talk about it look at the chat please there you have the the, the homework for tomorrow okay voy a revisar así rapidito la asistencia y nos despedimos nos vemos hasta mañana el día de mañana pues tienen esa tarea de contarnos qué es lo que hicieron en su fin de semana alba luz Hello, Alba. Hey, Alba. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Cecibel. Cecibel is not in the class. Christopher Raúl. I hear teacher. All right. I yeah. hear Carlos Ernesto. All right, uh, Carlos Ernesto. Okay, Carlos, very good. Fatima. Here, teacher. Good. Uh, Hector. I don't see Hector. Today in the class. Uh, let me see. Jorge Alberto. Present. Okay. Jorge David. I'm here, teacher. Good. Jose Enrique. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Oscar. I'm here, teacher. Good, Jose. Hey. Catherine, you did. Catherine Roxana. I don't see Catherine Roxana. Teacher, en el chat le contestó Catherine. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Catherine Roxana, right? Then I have 
Katie Tatiana. Rebecca Michel. Reina Concepción. Salvador Galdames. I yeah, I, I, yeah, I can see Salvador there. Now, let me see. We're almost done, people. Sandra Guadalupe. Silvia Carolina. Jenny Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. That was it, people. You, you have, I mean, you did a great job tonight. Uh, I wonder if you have a, a clear, um, if you have it clear about the humble ass assignment for tomorrow. Hey, uh, we always do something in the weekend. Siempre hacemos algo en el fin de semana. Todos nos levantamos temprano o tarde, pero todos nos levantamos. Todos tomamos un baño temprano o tarde, pero todos tomamos un baño. Uh, todos tomamos el desayuno, todos nos cepillamos los dientes, todos escuchamos música, todos o oh, la mayoría vamos a la iglesia. Bueno, hay una infinidad de actividades que hacemos los fines de semana. Entonces, para mañana nos van a comentar Alguna de las actividades más significativas que ustedes hicieron el fin de semana, ¿ok? Yes, yes. Ok. Ok. Um, les, les recomiendo también que, no, que utilicen la estructura que estuvimos estudiando ahora. El DIREN, ¿ok? El DIREN también, cosas que no pudieron hacer por algún motivo, pues, I didn't go to church, I didn't study... I didn't do the homework. I, something that you want to include, ¿ok? Si quieren proveer información extra, háganlo, siéntanse con la libertad de hacerlo. Eh, to siempre do, le... Jorge. To do like, to hide it. <laughs> ah, ok. So if you want to tell us something uh, you did, but, but, there is, but it is something you hate, ok, let us know about it. There's not any problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's been a pleasure, people, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Good evening.